Might be a conspiracy theory. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Today is Sunday. It's October 29th. Um, it's an incredibly special day. And I figured I would get up kind of early just to speak with you a little bit about, yeah, how my day went, but something that's really, really important to me, somebody actually who's really important to me, and, and that's actually my dad. Um, I think you've seen him in the vlog a couple times here and there. Ever since I've moved out, I obviously I just don't have as much time to get together with him as much as I used to see him when I lived at home. Even when I was home, I didn't see him that much because he worked every day, but I, I did my best to see him because he's probably one of the best people that I know. I think he's one of my favorite people in the entire world. I look up to him so much and and the reason I say this is because today, October 29th, is his birthday. So I figured, you know, let me introduce you to him a little bit and, and let you know who he is to me and and uh, yeah. But but before we get to that, we, we should probably, let's, let's do, we gotta get through some stuff first. All right, so first things first, church. <laughs> It was super fun. I actually got to play rhythm guitar, which I don't usually get to do. So this is me playing rhythm in the back side of the stage, and it was just so much fun. I had a ton of fun, as I always do playing worship. And right after that, my parents came to the 1115 service so that we could go to lunch with them. And we ended up going to lunch to Cracker Barrel. You can imagine his, his people around her, the servants and his son, they, 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 they're not happy with that. You know, so and then she, she gave him a position. She was like a, like a servant for her. Right. It was fun. The food's great. As soon as we finished up with Cracker Barrel, then we headed back home, and then Jenny and I had dinner here at home. We had a relaxing evening because we haven't had too many of them lately, so we decided to do that while my parents were out having a nice birthday dinner with, I think, my sister. You got the vodka with penny? The one. Okay, and that'll be twelve seventy-six. All right, no problem. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. It was a great Sunday. Didn't capture too much because I really wanted to be, you know, present with my parents and my family and my dad mainly, but, you know, I wanted to at least bring him to you guys in a way and, and introduce you to him, and, and I don't have him with me because he's busy working, but I figured I would talk about him and, and share his story a little bit with you. So my dad, um, my dad's name is Brian, with an I. He was born in a place called Dublin, Ireland, which is in Western Europe. And while my dad was actually in Ireland growing up, he actually swam for Ireland competitively and he did a lot of ocean swimming and, and a lot of pool lane swimming. And he was in the pool for four or five hours a day as a teenager. And he traveled all over Europe representing Ireland for the swim team. Then after like high school age, he started to get into college and he went to University College Dublin in Ireland where he studied like chemistry and mathematics. And, and that has brought him to where he is today where now he's a vice president, I believe. Uh, I always forget the position that he actually has, but he, he, he's in pharmaceutics and he does pharmaceuticals in New Jersey um, and he works with that type of stuff that's super smart that I don't do. <laughs> he, now he moved to America when he was about 23 years old and he met my mom in 1992 uh, in a pub in New York City. Uh, my mom was actually on a lunch break. They met on Valentine's Day in 1992, got married in 1993, and they had me in 1994. We lived in New Jersey. I think I told you about this, but we did live in New Jersey for a while. Now we moved out to Pennsylvania and then about seventh grades when I moved out here. And then now I, you know, moved out, lived on my own because I'm married to Jenny and all that. However, I, I still have a great relationship with my parents. They're both great. And in case this is the first time you're watching, my mom's from Guatemala, so that's actually kind of funny. But anyway, my dad, first of all, he's born in Dublin, Ireland, which is incredible. And, and my dad's dad actually worked in Guinness's Brewery in Ireland for 37 years as a delivery truck driver for them. Um, so we could basically say that my last name is kind of engraved in the company there, which is even funnier because I don't drink, but... That's a whole nother thing. But yeah, my dad, um, he's amazing. Uh, I, I am in awe of who my father is. 
Um, not only because he's from Ireland and that's awesome and you should hear his Irish accent, it's pretty sweet, but it's it's his person, it's his disposition, it's who he is, it's his soul, it's it's his, it's his him as a person. I, I, I am in awe of who he is and I'll explain why. See, growing up, my dad never in, in my life that I can remember has ever raised his voice at me. He's never yelled at me, which a lot of people seem to find very interesting because they're like, did he punish you? Did he do anything? Like, like why, why didn't he discipline you? And, and that's not the case. He actually did discipline me, but he did it in a way that was so profound and so, so respectful that I, I couldn't help but to respect him back in such a, 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 a a powerful way. And what he used to do, instead of like really yell at me or get mad at me in the moment, he would let things happen, let me learn, and then he would come to me like a day or two later and he would say, what were you thinking? What was going through your head? What, what happened there? Explain to me, talk to me. And he would let me talk with him about what had happened. Now, he didn't just neglect stuff when it was, ha like if he had to jump in, he would jump in by all means because you know he was very, very responsible and careful in that way. But I always thought it was so cool what he did and the way that he did it to just wait, remain calm and talk to me at a later date about the issue that had happened so that we can both talk on a level head rather than when one of us was mad or upset or or when the situation was kind of still, you know, boiling, if you will. He'd wait till everything kind of simmered and, and then we talk. And because he's never raised his voice at me, I, I have this respect for him that I cannot explain. It's just something that the moment he speaks, I, I'm quiet and I just listen. I drop what I'm doing and I, I respect him so much because of that. And, and just other stuff too. I mean, the way that he is with money is unbelievable. I don't want to say it like that, but he, he makes good money and, and, and he, he lives insanely comfortable and he barely buys anything for himself. He always talks about his safety net. He always has a safety net um, so that whenever we need something, it, we can afford it. Whenever we wanted to do something, we could afford it. And, and But he's always careful. He's always double checking and triple checking and making sure everything's where it needs to be and there's a safety net for everything. He's always been that way. And, I, and he's taught me that just by doing it the way he does it. Just the organization, the way he is with bills and the way he is with, with payments. And, and he has one of the best credit scores I've ever seen in my life. His handwriting is just incredibly detailed and, and very well put. It's it's so organized looking. Everything he does is just organized and well thought out and well done. And, and even more so than that, it's the way that he is with people. I mean, he is just incredible. Like if you give him two minutes with the guy that's pumping his gas, he will know where he's from, what his favorite food is, you know, how many family members the guy has, what he does for a living. I mean, like just everything. Like and I grew up watching that and I, I almost envied that. And so now it's kind of ingrained in who I am. And that's why I'm the same way with everybody that I come across because of my dad. So sometimes if you look at me and say, oh, Pablo, you know, your personality or, or your outgoingness or the, you know, how you love care for people. Yes, I've worked on it, but I, the entire kit and caboodle here goes right back to my dad, to be honest with you. He's the guy that I've looked up to for years. He's the guy that I've always wanted to be like, and, and I still strive to be like in life. And so, yeah, th you know, that's my dad. He's always been there for me, you know? Anything I've always wanted to do, he supported. Anything I've ever talked to him about, he he helps me through. Um, anything, even financially growing up when I needed something, you know, he would always provide, always be there. He was an anchor for me, you know, that I had here in life that I'm incredibly thankful for because I know some of you watching and, and people that I personally know, they don't always have a dad that is like that. They don't always even have a dad that's there for them. They don't even always have a dad that's unfortunately alive anymore. Like they, they have, people have stuff going on and I'm just sharing with you that I'm incredibly thankful. I'm incredibly grateful for the father figure that I have in my life. Obviously we all have God as a father figure, but I've been very blessed and I'm incredibly thankful for the, the father that, the earthly father that I've been given here on earth. And if I could wish anything, I would just wish that every single one of you could meet him. You could sit with him and talk with him. He's sometimes a little too chill. He's a little too, sometimes he's almost slow in a way because he's so like, you could literally be laying on the ground with your arm broken in thriving pain and he could be like, hmm, could be worse. You know, that could be a lot worse. I swear, that's exactly what he says to almost everything. So he's a little too chill sometimes, but his heart and, and who he is as a person is just huge. And it's something that I, every single day, wake up wanting to be like and wanting to arrive at. Um, 
I don't know if it's something that you arrive at, but it's something that I'm always looking towards and I have a goal to become like. So that's my dad. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to try and put him in the vlog a little bit more when I see him. Uh, you know, obviously he works a lot and I work a lot and we're, we're both busy, but whenever we get to hang out, I, I know we're going to be golfing soon, probably as well when it gets, I don't know, it's a little cold out, but we're going to try our best to do that. But I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you listening to me and, and allowing me to, to share his story, my story with him. And um, if you have a parent that you love, take care of them because they're not always going to be around, you know? Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. See ya.